Hello, today we are going to talk about how to recognize Parkinson's disease. In other words, what symptoms might indicate that you have Parkinson's disease or you might be at risk. My name is Dr. Sayas. I'm a neurologist specialized in movement disorders. Do you know what is the fastest growing neurological disorder in the world? It's not Alzheimer, it's Parkinson's disease. And this is why this is so important to, to talk about this topic. Let me start saying that uh, there are certain symptoms that could indicate that you are developing Parkinson's disease or you are at risk of having Parkinson's disease. Many patients start having non-motor symptoms years before starting having the motor symptoms. When I say motor, I mean the resting tremor, the stiffness, the balance and walking issues, or the slow movements. So let's talk about four of the non-motor symptoms that many times patients start having these issues years before the motor symptoms. Number one, decreased sense of smell. Very common in patients who, who have Parkinson's disease to have a this decreased sense of smell. And it's not because you have a sinusitis that usually that goes away. Now I'm talking about permanent. Number three, if your partner tell you that you are acting out during a sleep. So for example, you are having a dream and usually it's a very unpleasant dream. Like somebody chasing you, you are chasing somebody or you are fighting with somebody and you are acting out during, during a sleep. You are punching, kicking, moving a lot, screaming. That means that you most likely have what we call REM, R-E-M, rapid eye movement, sleep behavior disorder, which is highly associated with Parkinson's disease. Number three, constipation is a big one too, very common. Number four, depression and anxiety. So when I'm saying anxiety, severe anxiety. Remember, anxiety is a normal phenomenon. We need actually a, a little bit of anxiety in order to perform well. Now, I'm talking about pathological anxiety. And especially when you start having these type of issues, depression and anxiety, when you turn 60, 50, 70, out of the blue without any reason. Remember, I don't want you guys to worry about uh, if you have only one of those symptoms. You, you need to have a combination of those symptoms plus the motor symptoms. I'm going to talk about that now. Now, let's talk about five characteristic motor symptoms in Parkinson's disease. Number one, tremors. But not every tremor is resting tremor. When I say resting tremor is the tremors that happen when the muscles are relaxed, when you are not contracting the muscles, the, the, the muscles that, that are involved in the tremor. Right. So the best way to evaluate uh, for that is uh, you stand up and if your fingers have a tremor while you are standing up with your hands next to you or when you walk, that's a resting tremor. OK, that's characteristic of the disease of, of, of Parkinson, Parkinson's disease. The frequency is something like this. OK, something like this. The second uh, common symptom is when your handwriting, handwriting is changing. But this is different because it, the, in Parkinson, the handwriting gets smaller. So they start usually relatively normal, and then the handwriting gets smaller, 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 smaller. So there is a decrement, right? If you put patients with at least moderate to severe Parkinsonism, and you put them to do uh, loops, they start relatively normal or maybe a little bit small. But the, the, the key here is that every time that they do the loops and they continue doing the loops, it gets smaller and smaller. That's characteristic of having bradykinesia, which is, means a slow movements. Number, number three, lack of facial expression. So very easy to understand this if you see a picture of Muhammad Ali or a video. Actually, a video of Muhammad Ali when he was fighting, okay? And then like one or two years before he, he passed away. So you will see the difference between a patient with Parkinson's disease 
and no Parkinson's disease. The facial expression is very, very clear. Um, the other one is uh, freezing of the gait, freezing of the walking. So it's when you try to walk and the legs doesn't respond well, doesn't want to move well. It's like having glue. So that's a, uh, a, another uh, feature of uh, Parkinsonism, specifically Parkinson disease. Now, the other one is pain in the shoulder. And uh, especially when the pain in the shoulder is associated with decreased arm swing, okay? Uh, most likely you are not going to realize that you are having this issue of decreased arm swing. Somebody had to tell you about that, but you might start having unilateral, for example, right uh, shoulder pain. Um, so if you, out of the blue, um, start having this issue and you are not moving well, the arm, when you walk, that might be an indication that you might be having rigidity, stiffness of the shoulder, which is one of the characteristics of having uh, Parkinson's disease. If you have any combination of those symptoms, the motor and no motor symptoms that I just explained, please try to see a neurologist specialized in movement disorder. See you soon.